Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Anthony with the Movie Blog, and I'm here with E-Man from E-Man's Movie Reviews. We're back here with another episode of The Correct Opinion. It's like two in one week. I don't know what's going on. Um, but there is some news to discuss. It seems like all of the fallout from the new James Gunn, Peter Safran regime in the DCU is still... There's still fallout. There's still a lot, a lot of fallout. Um, the biggest news coming out this week, and I know you're going to be excited for this, is the news that the Black Adam sequel is done. It's not happening. Now, we all saw the writing on the wall with the Gal Gadot, Patty Jenkins news of um, last week. We also saw the news about the Henry Cavill iteration of Superman not continuing. This being the final nail in the coffin for the last vestiges of Zack Snyder's DCEU, Black Adam is not moving forward with a sequel. Now, I know this news comes as no surprise to, to you. Um, I know I was still a little, I don't know. I, 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 I shouldn't say I was completely caught off guard, but I was definitely not expecting it to be so soon. Um, they did give the movie some time to try to eke out whatever little coins it could at the box office and on streaming, and it just it just didn't do enough to make a difference or to make an argument to allow this iteration of Black Adam or the last vestiges of the DCEU to continue as a universe adjacent to whatever James Gunn and Peter Safran are cooking. Mm -hmm. Um the good news is if you're a fan of, you know, Blue Beetle or um, Joker or Ryan, Robert Pattinson's Batman with Matt Reeves, you're safe. Mm -hmm. Those movies are still happening. Um, we don't know what's going to happen as far as Blue Beetle after that first movie, but we do know that Blue Beetle's got a chance, right? Sure. At, at, at the very least, if it does good sure. in the box office... For all we know, they'll incredible Hulk it and say it was always part of the universe. The new do you movie. do you have what The Rock said? Yeah. So yeah. I mean, you want to read what he said for the people that don't know the exact news? Let me pull it right up. So the news. Oh, I got to talk right into the mic. So the exact post read. Specifically from like this, uh, my passionate friends, I wanted to give you a long awaited Black Adam update regarding the character's future in the new DC universe. James Gunn and I connected and Black Adam will not be in their first chapter of storytelling. Time out. Let's break it. <laughs> let, let, let's, I was just saying, let's break it down. Let's go through it. First of all, I love how he started that off. Yeah. Because you know who he's talking to. He's not talking to. DC fans. He's not talking to comic book movie fans. He's not even talking to regular movie goers. No. He's talking to the passionate fans. Friends. friends. My passionate friends. This, like, if that's <sighs> not the most... He is using a euphemism here. He's talking the about... More aggressive... Extreme side of the fandom. No, he's not. He's talking about all those people like me that are that in the crowd at the opening for Black Adam in Times Square, screaming at our lungs to see Jim Lee and The Rock. And not the same people that are making fire James Gunn and boycott WB trend. Listen, there's there's good people, same people. There's good people on both sides. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's exactly. You're right. You're right. Yup. Yup. There you go. There you right. have. It. They I'm sure they were there, but those aren't the people he's talking to. So okay. <laughs> um so then he said uh James and first I it, it yeah. just won't be in the first chapter. No, 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 no. Yeah, it won't be in the first chapter. So, so it, he... it, it it I think it doesn't mean and this is very similar to um, what Rock? No, what what James Gunn and Henry Cavill both kind of said, right? Because James Gunn and Henry Cavill were like, "Look, we had our talk, and clearly Superman's not going to be in this iteration, you know, in this current story. Yeah, but there's room for. We talked about future possibilities of other things, which leaves the door open for 
multiverse stuff, random cameos, maybe a crisis event. Who like he's not done forever. Yeah. But he's done for now. Yeah, I love how like people I can just picture it like people walking out of James Gunn's office with like a piece of paper in their hands that read maybe in the multiverse and they just walking off with their little yeah. consolation prize yeah, and they sit there and figure out maybe. their careers from here and they'd be like but, oh you know you he know, said there might be a chance in the that's like that's like um when a girl tells you we're just taking a break <laughs> we, we, we're just taking a break I mean look I would just say this like I think that for one there are so many different sides to all of this right for one they didn't completely like kill off these characters. They're not completely getting rid of them forever. They are at oh, they least T'Challa. They didn't T'Challa these characters. Right. They didn't, they didn't T'Challa just... it, right? But they are at least, at least giving leaving the door open, right? They're going in a different direction, but they're leaving the door open. And unlike T'Challa, they're immediately letting you know we're gonna have another Superman. Like, hold on, you know. But I think I think the other thing too is they're pretty much weeding out Snyder stuff, right? Yeah. And it's 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 hard because there are some things you don't want to really get rid of. Like I don't think you should get rid of Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman because she's fantastic as Wonder Woman, right? But the problem is, and I'm sorry to say it, it's part of the fandom. You because can't keep a little bit of it. If you keep a little bit, people are going to be like, well, if you can keep her, why couldn't you keep Cavill? And if you can keep Cavill, why couldn't you keep Batflag? And if you can keep Batflag, why can't you keep... And 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 then it's going to be round and round again, <sighs> which we've been doing for the past 10 years. <sighs> we've been doing this. And the and this is the this is the frustration I have as a fan. As a fan. Because I'm a fan of these characters in the story. I've told you that. The problem that I have is the fact that, like, there seems to be way too much energy put into attacking the studio, and I'm not defending them. There's so much energy in attacking them and all of this. And on one side, look at what The Rock just said. I think The Rock's whole response was classy as hell. Like, he, he, he gave a really professional, classy response. Henry Cavill did as well. And a lot of these people are friends. Like, they're not looking at James Gunn and and the current management of WB now, the current one. They're not looking at him with the level of hostility that Ray Fisher. No, had. no, no. You know what I'm saying? No, like no. they're and Affleck cool. is still taking meetings with the dude. That's ben what Affleck I'm saying. Like they're they're cordial. They're cool. It's like okay, I'm now, now. You know, I don't like. Know but my, let me just make this one. Let me just say this one thing. The only thing I'm just fr- disappointed in is the fact that we are putting way more energy into attacking the studio, attacking James Gunn, and we haven't even heard or seen what he wants to really do yet, not in totality, rather than supporting these actual movies. Like, if you love... It hurts me that The Rock went out of his way to listen to the fans, and he went by... He pulled all the strings he could not only to get his dream project in Black Adam finally in fruition, but he pulled all the strings to get Henry Cavill because fans wanted that. And when he finally did it, there's nothing. There's no campaign. There's no movement. There's no trending hashtag of watch Black Adam, you know, uh, 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 go w- support Black Adam. There's nothing behind that. And the dollars do not make sense. So, the dollars don't make sense. Like, y'all don't support the stuff you say you want. And this guy who literally was in the fans' mm, corner. I, 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 I hear you to a degree. I'm just saying. Right? Because, because, because I'm not saying that they got to dish out the money. No, no, no. I'm just saying, is, like, yo, why don't y'all the, make that trend? This is one of the last vestiges of what appeared to be Zack Snyder's DCEU. But this yeah. isn't a Zack Snyder film proper. It, now, it's not. Now, it's not. the last time we saw the fans get rallied and supportive of something was with Zack Snyder's Justice League, the four hour cut that was on HBO Max. Now, as far as the watch time on that, Warner Brothers, I'll admit, they've been pretty coy on what the actual numbers were. However, it does, they did imply that it was successful. Sure. 
right? It didn't say, oh, this was a waste of money. This is a failure. We lost subscribers. We should have never did it. They, none of that came out. Right. They just said like, hey, the numbers did what they were supposed to do, but it ain't. It didn't seem like it was numbers that they really wanted to promote or brag right. about, so to speak. Right. So I, I kind of get that to a degree. But I want to. But I brought that up to say that the fans will get behind. I think Zack Snyder proper. Now, whether or not they yeah. sat down and watched all four hours of Justice League, maybe not. Did they hit play? Absolutely. Sure. At least everybody. Oh, I'm. I'm sure the start time of Zack Snyder's Justice League is substantial enough. Um, and that's really the only metric we should be going by. All these other people are substitute teachers. The Rock ain't really reflective. Yeah, but I mean, Zack but here's the thing: DCU. Zack Snyder can't come in and direct everything. No, right? he can't. But I'm, so, I'm not but, saying he. This was the last vestige, vestige of the Snyder verse. Yes. Right. I mean, yes. So that's why I'm saying, like, it actually would have been, it would have made more sense if more fans had gotten behind Black Adam. Yeah, yeah, but that's to like kind saying. Of prove like, hey, look, the Snyder to degree, can still I, I, work. To, I agree with what you're saying in that from a studio perspective. But I'm from saying a from fan the fans, too. From a fan if this perspective. this is what y'all say y'all want, and no, they gave it to no, you. No, 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 no. Zach, again, I'm backing up. Black Adam wasn't part of Zack Snyder's plan. When Zack Snyder fans needed to show up, they needed to show up for well, Zack I get Snyder. that. I'm just saying the moment Land you project. found out, the moment you found out, because let's be honest, the Henry Cavill add-on thing was... Mm -hmm. A marketing ploy more than sure. anything. Yeah. But at the same time, it was kind of like the last hurrah. It was kind of like the last thing to be like. I know that. There's you hope. know that. But, but that's not. That's like saying you know. Oh, I want to continue the Bruce Tim universe, but I'm going to watch Green Lantern a 3D adaptation. It's not I really knew, the same. If universe. I knew, no, I, I'll give you a better example. Young Justice when it was threatened. When it was mm. threatened that Young Justice was going to be discontinued after, I think, season two or season three, one of those, the what was stated was fans have to re-watch it. And I think this was back when it was on Netflix. Don't quote me on that. But fans had to re-watch it in order to get the season continued and renewed. And guess this? what? How about they this? did that. They did this that. Is, this is, to me, also feels like a sinking ship. DC's been pretty clear. It, like, this universe is being... It has been, it's, but that's, it's, but the that's plug has been pulled. Not, so, kind of what I problem. feel like, what I feel like, this is like telling fans to watch the last season of The Flash in order to bring back the Arrowverse. Like, there's really not a chance, right? Is the tune, Are people going to tune in like they did the past nine seasons in hopes? Probably not. Are they going to check it out after if they have time? Maybe. And that was the approach that I think a lot of fans took to Black Adam. We already knew that the writing was on the wall. They've been talking about the Flash reboot for over two years now, rebooting the DC universe for over two years now. We haven't heard hide nor tail of Ben Affleck's Batman, Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman, or Henry Cavill's Superman up until Black Adam for years. So there w I don't think that people were looking at it like this is our last chance to save the universe. I think they were looking at it like they already said this stuff is coming to an end. I'll see if, I'll ch if I'm interested in checking it out, maybe. And that's how a lot of, like, I've, I've, I've gotten reached out from folks who are now checking out Black Adam for the first time on HBO Max. And they're like, this movie wasn't that bad. Why were people dissing it? And I, I don't know if you know anybody that are just now checking it out. I have a couple people that are strong comic book fans that are just now checking it out. I've got, I'm having those conversations with my friends on the side. No, nobody. Yeah, yeah. No, okay. Oh. I mean, look. At, at, at the end of the day, I, I just, I just wish that people will give this a chance for now. Because Multiverse. if The Rock isn't upset, if Henry he is Cavill upset. is cool, I mean, he's disappointed. He's, he's not, probably upset. He's not pissed. I mean, I'm sure he's pissed. After I, 15 I don't think, years. I don't think he is because it was a matter of business. Right, like he came in. I told you he came in during the Wild Wild West, during the transitional period. The old regime was out. Yeah, there was no new real regime. Like Zaslav was there, but there was no like head of DC yeah. Studios. But he, there wasn't a, a studio. He, he put his personal neck on the line when he's like, right. "Yo, we need Henry Cavill Superman." It went from right. being business to being right. personal. This but became saying, a passion. Project. There was no structure in place. He what he wanted. He wanted to come in and be like, yo, what y'all did with Matt Reeves, 
I want a piece of that. Like I want to I want to take over that piece of DC the same way Matt Reeves um, has his little so uh, uh he box was, he was asked in. he was asked at the premiere for Black Adam if he would want the job and he right. he straight up said like no <laughs> no but I want it, but he implied he just wanted his little Black Adam sandbox to That's play not necessarily as big as like the DCEU just right. Black Adam right right um he wanted that. He needed the box office to put it in, out there. I think he put his per he was personally invested in it because he had refused to do it in any other interpretation sure. till now. Yeah. So I think it was very, very personal to him. And I think he does take this personally to a degree, and he just had to calm down. It took him a while to walk into James Gunn's office to have this chat, right? Black Adam is already out on streaming. Yeah. Yeah. And then to come walking away with multiverse, right? He's he's throwing some some crumbs. Yeah, I, I, I like the fact that you know he did multiverse. mention like this is just the first chapter. Now that's a little extra conversation that probably did not need to be leaked. Um, I'm just saying, you know, we're just taking a break. You know, maybe no, we'll I, get back to that later. That. I'm just saying, like, I don't think that James Gunn really wanted people to hear that it's chapters. You know, if that's the case. I don't think I don't think that's I think that me personally and I'm purely speculating. I think that's ad libbed and he's really just trying to soften the blow. That's I don't think really so. what I feel. This I whole think multiverse the Rock, and the chapters. Rock, first of all, The Rock is the same person that leaked and spoiled Henry Cavill was going to be in the movie at the premiere. He drinks a lot of tequila. He drinks a lot of tequila. We I know. Give so. the man a, a I know. So I, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to be shocked. If he wants to kind of sort of slip out a little information, he's, I mean, The Rock is smart, too. I mean, this isn't he's a real leak. Marketer. I mean, to say that there's chapter, he, they, they made it clear that we're going to give our first film slate. It, it, I don't think that's really as much of a leak, if anything. No, it's not. But I'm just saying, I don't think it was for him to really go out and say. No. If there was anything that I thought was a jab in that post, it was when he was like, um, it's no different now, and I will always root for DC, open parentheses, and Marvel, <laughs> close parentheses, yeah. to I win and win big. I didn't think I don't that think, was a shot. I, mean, I don't think I've ever heard him or read him mention Marvel, Marvel. on his social media. I mean, if anything, like if anything, it's kind of like, hey, big head. What's yeah, up, nah, Marvel? I, yeah, it's <laughs> like, you know, like, you like know. Like, shoot your shot now, Marvel. <laughs> right, like, oh, when you know, it, it, it's like when anybody is about open a free agent, right? I'm a free right. agent now. Right. I'm throw, like you know. now. Now I can talk about other teams freely. But he wasn't doing that before. Is no. my point. No, no, no. I mean, he was always, you know, doing other stuff and going for Black Adam. So yeah, I mean, he's worked with Disney. He has Jungle Cruise. Sure. Yeah, yeah. He ain't got no bad relationship with. Him. Well, what I like about it also is the fact that like it shows because I hate it when fans impose their divisiveness on the actors you know or the studios like marvel ain't got no beef with wb and wb ain't got no beef with them yeah we all want the yet. same money yet. yet no no i'm saying they want the same money yes right like both of them want billions of dollars and and even kevin foggy said this he was like if wb fails we fail like, we need the genre to be successful everywhere. And that's true. Because when the genre starts to fall off too hard, that's how we got, that's how all the comic book movies fell off in the early 90s. Yeah, that's how they started to, to die in the 2000s. Because I, everywhere you looked, they were failing. But when they all started to pick up, when Fox came out with the uh, X-Men, when Sony came out with uh, uh, Spider-Man, when Marvel had Blade, when everything picked up, then it was like, oh, maybe comic book movies aren't dead. Maybe they are something. So yeah. they ain't all do need me. to succeed. Ain't nothing you can tell me that can make me feel like Kevin Feige ain't the Vince McMahon at his and would love to WCW the hell out of Come DC on. Comics. Yeah, he got all right? friends just, with all these. He friends with a lot of yeah, He's friends with James yeah, So did Vince McMahon, right? He's he was friends cool with, with a lot of them wrestlers, right? Like, oh, Hulk Hogan? Yeah. Kurt Hennig? Like, Gunn is like Triple H going over there to AD. Triple, H went, oh, over there. Triple H went over there for a little while. He went over that's, to WCW. That's what I'm saying. He, he Triple H. He learned under Vince. <laughs> and he gonna, he, gonna, he gonna play a little bit in AEW. And then sooner or later... He gonna go back. 
You're I mean, I mean, I'm just saying, Kevin would love to WCW this this right here. If he could buy DC and then do to their characters what WWE did to WCW, just run them into the ground like Superman who, he, I think he would. I think he would go for the jugular, honestly. And then we would be up to image. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything else he said. No, no. Well, he did say he did say he's rooting for James Gunn and and that they're cool and everything. And I, I again, I just hope that fans kind of like take that in. You know, like if The Rock is not calling for him to get fired, why are you? You know what I'm saying? Rock, like it, it's it's not what they want to do. They're going in a different direction. It happens. It and is. more importantly, logically speaking, the past ten years have not been successful. They're, like they're, they're just not. They have yeah. way more misses or average returns than big major successes. I understand that. So it's kind of like at some well, point. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, I, I have, I'm gonna do the legwork because I haven't done the legwork yet. But you and I were talking about this before, and it was about whether or not these films have been successful. And that's a different, that's a slippery metric, I think. Well, okay. If you let, me, let me be more specific. Marvel, let me be, be like, more specific. Where did they I make think back their marketing can, and hit their, they, no, no, they've underperformed. A lot of these movies have underperformed because just because you turn a profit does not mean that, like, you met expectations because the Star Wars movies, a lot of them made a profit. They didn't bomb, but they sure never touched their their full potential, you know, in terms of being critically acclaimed and in terms of, like, making box office revenue, you know, and hitting their projections. So, you know, and and the same thing happened with Amazing Spider-Man and Sony. That second movie even though it wasn't as critically acclaimed as the first one with uh, with Andrew Garfield, it still made $700 million, which is nothing to I mean, shake your head so, at. I mean, but, but this is, that's a good example. As a failure. That's a great example because this is like along the lines when fans found out that Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man wasn't happening anymore. They're going to look at the third film and be like, it underperformed. Yeah. Why? I mean, what? So you guys yeah. should be happy. You guys should be realize, happy that you're not, you know, you guys should realize, be looking in a positive light that you're not getting Tobey Maguire's iteration anymore. But, you guys didn't show up. But but the thing is, there are certain movies that carry a certain amount of expectations and potential that like, like I would say this, even Black Panther Wakanda Forever, that underperformed. There's mm -hmm. no way you're going to take a movie that was uh, uh, following up a $1.3 billion film and I think, if I'm not mistaken, the movie's only at like 700 million. Like it, it has not cracked a billion. So like that in itself is like, yo, it's it's great for everyone else, but it underperformed given its expectations. We but have is, different expectations for LeBron James. If LeBron James goes out there and scores 15 points, we we are disappointed. Now, is that 15 points is great for any NBA starter, but that not for LeBron James. So Black Adam, in this case, it underperformed. And I'm so just have saying, many if LeBron other... James came out and scored 15 points, would you drop LeBron James? No, I'm not saying. You <laughs> drop him. No, well, hold on. I'm not saying you would drop him because of one game, but if he came out and had 10 years of only 15 points, you're trading LeBron James. I hear he's you. He's no but, longer. But I, he's I no longer you. the direction of your franchise if all he's doing so is 15 points. I hear points. you to a degree, but I hear you to a degree only because like that works when the metric is a billion, right? If your goal is a billion, anything below that or not coming close I, to it is I a billion. I wouldn't say that. Then I wouldn't with, say that that's the goal. We're talking about say, like movies that, that are gross 600, 700 million in the box office I and we're not, saying they're underperforming and that we they're failures. No, I would say that's that's too simplistic. Because every DC movie is not a billion dollar property. Every single one. Shazam is not a billion dollar movie. If Shazam doesn't hit a billion dollars, no one's crying no, about that. It made it made like three hundred and it made like three, four, dollars. something like that. It, it and wasn't it, that enough big. to get a sequel. Enough right. to get a sequel. Right. right? Three hundred yeah. and sixty million was looked at and said, "Oh snap, we need to right. keep doing this." Right. For for someone that was not a household name you know, for a character, and the lead actor was not a household name either. Yeah, there were, like, no real big notable actors 
to sell it. That was the projections and the expectations were far lower, especially when you compare it to, you know, uh, Black Adam, where you had the number one Hollywood movie star who could make a movie about skyscrapers and make more money with a non-related IP, make that 500 something million or more, but then you take this and nothing. So yeah, the expectations are going to change. The only time, I would just argue that if it's, Batman related, Superman related. I wouldn't even say Wonder Woman because she hasn't really had outside of Gal Gadot, she hasn't had like big movies or anything. And Justice League related, those are the only things that I would say have billion dollar expectations. And those expectations should be met. Even the Avengers have expectations. Avengers Age of Ultron made 1.5 billion dollars and Marvel Marvel considered that a disappointment because they felt as though it could have hit two billion dollars coming off of you know the last Avengers movie. Sure, it made one point five billion is a 1. disappointment. 4. One point four. One point four. One point four is a disappointment based off but of I, the I potential so, and the projection. Like let's 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 look at it. Let's. Apples to apples a little bit, just a little bit, not accounting for inflation or anything like that, right? Man of Steel made worldwide six hundred and sixty-eight million. Not bad. Batman v Superman made eight hundred and seventy-three million. So it made terrible, over, terrible. It made two hundred more million than the prior. Terrible. Snyder's. Hear me out. Terrible. Two hundred million more terrible. than the prior. Snyder's terrible. Verse. Terrible. The first time. You ever have Batman and Superman on screen? The two, two Justice of the League. three, or arguably four most popular fictional characters of all time, and you can only make eight hundred million dollars. That's terrible. Hold on, hold on. I'm just going based off of just normal Hollywood logic of no, production. But sense. then, then, then hear throw me this out. question hear away. Me out. Throw it away. Mil- you can't. You can't use normal Hollywood logic. What do you mean? When you're talking you, we, about you're something talking that about, doesn't operate we, we, that we way. Literally, just said is the me- is the measuring stick a billion? And then it was like, no, it's not. Now it is. No, I said there so were what I'm saying is, to it. Th- I said this there, is a movie I said that got a production budget. No, no, I said it was too simple. To just say this is a, a billion is a is had a production big. budget of two hundred and fifty million and made eight hundred and seventy three million. I'm no, saying you need no, to it also didn't consider the property and the and the characters think, as well. I don't think that I don't think that that return on the investment is a failure. I just don't think it met expectations. That's fine. I mean, I'm not right? talking about failures. I'm talking about well, yes, it was. <laughs> sorry, that You're was a failure about? for Batman v Superman. That was a failure because Yo, that movie should have made double the money. It now, should have. The production budget, have. the production budget for Aquaman was not, I don't know it, but I it think made Aquaman was a fluke. I have no idea why Aquaman, and it was a good movie. I liked it. Don't get me wrong. I have no idea why that movie made a billion dollars. Like, 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1.1 billion. I don't and the know production, where don't go to that production. came from. I don't know uh, why. I don't what care. else? It's a good movie, but nothing would have told me Suicide Squad. That's a, a billion dollar movie. Not not James Gunn Suicide Squad. Yeah, David Ayer. Ayer's Suicide Squad made seven hundred and forty six million worldwide. And that's terrible too. And last but certainly not least, Wonder Woman made eight hundred and some odd million worldwide. So these movies no, aren't movie. these movies aren't un- grossing under five hundred million. No. That's, they're no. just, that's not what they're doing. No. They're exceeding 500 million with uh, just off of the strength of those films themselves. So that means whatever was happening, people checked it out. They didn't black out on it. They actually came out and watched it enough times to get the box office that it earned. I'm not saying that the Snyderverse was the path towards success. All I'm saying is don't be throwing all that kind of slander as if they weren't making money. They weren't sitting here losing money for the studio. None of Making them. money is not the only fe- determinant. It's not the only one. <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't a major one. It is a major one, but it wasn't the only problem. one. Like it's I said, I just told you the example with Sony 
and Amazing yeah. Spider-Man. If they I, made money. If they I'm made a good if amount. If and I'm guess sitting, what? They stopped. If they I'm, stopped. If I'm, if I'm pitching a product on Shark Tank to Mark Cuban and I tell him my product is making three times the investment and all the rest of it is profit, he's probably going to look at me favorably for a deal. No, because Mark Cuban is going to take more in consideration and be like, you're only making three times profit and you're the number one with market share. You should be making 10 and he's, times profit. And he'll sit there and, and be like, oh, let me figure out what out. I can inject Something's to help wrong with you or your product. product. Or he sits there and says, hey, here's an opportunity for me to help guide them into making this nah, a better He's going to be like, there's too much work. What's the catch? Why depends are you not? Exactly. Why are you it underperforming? It, it, it That's depends what he's on how much he Why are you underperforming? Because you say three times, you should be making 10 times. Yeah. And then what you sit there and be hiding? like, oh. Oh, we're spending too much on marketing or our okay. acquisition okay. clients is too or, much. Or you got all these, or, you know, I, or, or you got a point, pending lawsuit. My point is, <laughs> is that it looks like they're in making more than their investment on all of their projects. And and I think the problem is the fact that if it was all and only about money, hey, we would continue. There'd be no reason to change direction. Yeah. <laughs> If it was only think, about money, if that I, was the case, but um, clearly, I think clearly, it is. I think it's it is more from the than studios. just about money. I don't think it's anything else but money. I think it's more. Yeah. Well, money is a factor. Like I said, I the these movies are underperforming. They're not making. They're not reaching the full. I think that's potential. the only reason that they're willing to throw out the baby with the bathwater. That's why they're willing to rip off the band aid yes. to the DC fans because. It's about the money. It's absolutely 100%. Screw everything else. The money is not... It's, 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 the it's the money number is one not thing. where it could be. Yes. And, and, it's but, also not... And, and here's the other factor. This is the intangible thing. It's also not a good look. But, you know how much negative press I mean, I mean, WB has gotten because, like, every time they put yo, out a movie, they have to deal with a yo. petition or a WB hashtag or social movement Sony or, or harassment or whatever. They have the same thing. They or review they bombing. There, they they feel always that. have to deal with some baggage and some nonsense. No, they feel like these movies, they get a little scared, right? They feel like these movies aren't scared. making as much money as Marvel, so they deem it a failure. Spider-Man 3 made more money than any other Spider-Man before it, but because of some reaction, Sony was like, throw it all away. Well, Spider-Man 4. <laughs> Spider-Man 4. Spider-Man 4 had a lot of high potential. Throw it away. Let's get a new actor, new director, yeah. throw everything away. Oh, oh, some people reacted a but little. But they made money. Some people were feeling they made a money. uncomfortable with Batman v Superman. Let's find a way to get, and, and because online, the um, the conversation was to get rid of Zack Snyder. Let's pretend like we're doing what the fans want and get rid of Zack Snyder in his moment of grief. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I don't think these are great decisions. I do think money, unfortunately, is driving, you know, I don't think these movies are making, uh, uh, losing them money. But no. like you said, it's like they think that they should be making more. Absolutely. So they're making and, and Rash not, decisions, I think, I, rash. I, I don't think it's I don't think it's rash. I mean, like you're talking about 10 years of trying micro changes here and there, and now it's time for them to finally like this make was, a major move. This is the same company that hired Joss Whedon. I don't trust their decision making, right? Well, and it felt luckily, rash then that they did it when people, it was in post production. But luckily those people are gone. This is the those same company got, that just like, canceled. They Batgirl. literally they this just literally canceled under new Batgirl. management. They just the, the, canceled Batgirl as the movie was finished. These are the I same understand. folks. This is that management, right? No, that it's not. Decision. Hold on. It's the not the one that hired Batgirl? Joss Whedon. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. David no, Zoss, I, I, It's the same for Batgirl. Story. Yeah, I agree. Same brand. Warner yes. Brothers, different people steering the ship. David Zaslav's his current regime, canceled right. Batgirl, canceled right. a whole bunch of other projects as they finished production, and that felt rash, too. Right. This feels like a repeated pattern with these characters. Or some of these superhero characters. It just feels like studios think that they should be making more than they are. So well, some. I mean, think about it. The Batgirl thing was supposed to. It was made for streaming. So something in that, I think, was. I mean, it I was going to debut. It wasn't going to theaters. Well, I don't know what made for streaming means anymore. After, it's after a lot, we, like, I think that just means 
it's not the budget for a TV series, but it's not the same budget for something going in the theaters. What was that Chris Pratt movie from Amazon that we saw? Um, the oh, I know, one. the Tomorrow War or something like that. Tomorrow War or something yeah, like that. I like that. And that was straight for streaming. That was one. Yeah. Of, but when you watch it. That didn't feel like a budget that was it made. It could crazy. have gone that to the theaters. theaters. That, that should have gone it to the But then again, Amazon is a different animal. Like, yeah, Amazon I has different priorities. Seen that movie and they, they have a different priority than, you know, other studios. Well, Warner that's Brothers, what they were mimicking, right? That's what HBO Max was mimicking. They're trying to, you know, let's do some yeah, I mean, that's a, this, this, These are, like, all the li- different factors that I keep talking about. Like, Amazon is trying to do something different than Netflix. Netflix is doing something different than Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers is doing something different. You know, everybody has different agendas and stuff. So, you know, that's why I'm just saying, like, we can't just look at box office or returns as the sole determinant for things because they have other issues. Other companies have different issues. Warner Brothers right now has an image problem. They have a problem ever since the pandemic. And even before that, with all the Snyder stuff, that's why they've gone through like literally three to four different regimes and executives They're and okay management. The issues. Because they've gone through all these things, they they've severed relationships with uh you know directors. They've lost partnerships with other studios like Legendary. Uh, you know they lost Christopher Nolan. They lost uh Villain Wave. You know uh they they've lost a lot. Because they have an image problem. So that's why I'm saying, yeah, these movies make money, but they need to get back to, hey, we still make quality. And not only do we make quality, we also make blockbusters too. So making a movie that's critically panned, terribly rejected by fans, but hey, it made some money. Nah, we're not living like that. We're better than that. We're not Sony in this case. Because Sony. They don't care if the movie's paid. Like, look, can we keep these rights? <laughs> and can we keep checking out more movies? Morbius. <laughs> more, more, Morbius 5 on deck, you know? As long as it hits a yeah, profit. I can't, I can't. We I don't, can't. hey, Hypno Hipster. Hypno Hustler. <laughs> Hypno Hustler, whatever. Yeah. Bad Bunny. Uh, so, El Puerto, whatever. I will, I so will say they, this. Look, it's different priorities for different studios right now. WB, whether it's Black Adam, whether it's James Gunn blowing everything up, they want the full potential of this gold that they have in these characters. And they also want, at least I hope so, they want these things to be positively received by not just fans, but also critics too. Because all that stuff helps. The best time that they were living their best lives was when uh, the, uh, the Nolan trilogy. Fans loved it. Critics loved it. Box office loves it, loved all of it. That's where they were making billions of dollars. They were getting critically well received. They were even getting award nominations and wins. Those were like the golden years. That was over 10 years ago. I mean, that's a long dip. That's a long fall. It's been a long time, but this is also the company that rebounds well. They were able to find new ways to continue. I have some. I'm a hold out hole. Now, as far as what we can do, I mean, I'm going to tell you this. This makes me completely uninvested and borderline. I want to say I'm actually I would actually prefer that they cancel their upcoming 2023 releases. I'm not I'm not opposed to that. Now, here's the one thing I would say, and this this is where I think Black Adam went wrong. I think Black Adam or Rock should have and and it sucks because Rock had clearly an attachment with the fans. He promised the fans he was, you know, doing all this stuff. So, he was already in too deep. So, by the time James Gunn came in, and before James Gunn could be like, "Yo, I'm going to blow this sucker up." No matter what was going to happen, Rock was already tied to this, right? And this is why I don't think they should get rid of everything in 2023 because it all depends. Like, Blue Beetle, I think, is going to be safe. I also think that um, Shazam might be safe as well because we just saw uh, that they scrapped, I believe, her uh, Gal Gadot's uh, cameo, whatever, so they scrapped the cameos. 
Now that's interesting though. Why would yeah. you scrap the cameos if you know what I'm saying? Like if you're gonna blow everything up anyway, just let it ride out. Let because. it happen. But I think what they're doing is because Shazam, for example, in the first movie, they didn't show Henry Cavill's Superman. They just showed huh. him, you know, with his head off or whatever. Which yeah. means there's enough wiggle room to say Shazam, Blue Beetle, and anything else that's not Snyder connected directly can still continue in the new vision. So, so Black Adam, that could Black Adam James probably could have stayed. Black Adam probably could have stayed if they never showed Henry Cavill. I wouldn't even say gone that far, but it just, to me, it feels like they're keeping things that feel like they can fit within James Gunn's writing style. Shazam. Not writing style, but just, just the continuity. I mean, like... It's just, just his right style now, Shazam to me. doesn't feel like it's connected to anything. I I feel like Shazam, it with its tone and humor, yes. I could absolutely the see tone, James Gunn yeah, writing agree. or directing a Shazam movie. I, I agree that the, the tone is very gun friendly same thing with blue beetle he likes these obscure you know not yeah. necessarily in the spotlight characters so right right right, right you right. know if he likes blue beetle then you know blue beetle will continue if he I, likes I can see that I Zachary see Levy, Shazam and we'll get more but Shazam. you know and, and they say that Aquaman's like the last one the, I think the only reason Aquaman is a full go is just because it, it made, made 1.1 million, million yeah but and it, it's like yo we we can't like I mean, not continue a billion dollar movie i mean shazam made less money than black adam did in the box office yeah yeah getting that shazam too though yep yeah I'm, you getting the aquaman and, too as well maybe it's shazam 3 if it i mean i i just think that they should shuffle everything the around way. i feel like they should shuffle it around and make the flash the last movie in the lineup you know, I know, Aqu- I know. You, you wanted to go is, out on a yeah. on a bang, right? Like logically speaking, put well, Aquaman first, put Ship yeah. Flash at well, the end. That. I, the I don't care what they do in the beginning. I'm just saying, put Flash at the end. New Fifty Two slash Flash paradox it up. Yeah. Have him hit the reset button with time, and then and get rid of it. Honestly, I I feel like just cancel it. Don't even bother. Don't even bother. With what? It doesn't. You know how, like, sometimes they give show a final season so that they can gracefully end? I'm like, don't even bother. What do you don't want to cancel? Shazam and uh, Why Black you got to bother Shazam, man? Shazam, Shazam Flash, and Aquaman. A lot of these things are already done, too. So? Since, since when does that stop WB from canceling stuff? They can't so, write <laughs> everything off. Can't they? No. So, I mean, they just canceled, they just literally premiered a new series and took it off the platform a week after the premiere for the write-off. Yeah. Yo, they, 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 they have some IRS wizards over there. I think if you give them some motivation, they'll find a way. So I'm like, you know, at this point, just cancel it too. Cancel Aquaman, cancel The Flash, cancel um, Shazam and move forward with what James Gunn wants to do. Don't leave this stuff hanging around if especially if it's going to further add confusion to what um you want audiences to receive as far as the new dcu moving forward just cancel it i don't think they'll be confused i don't think that they need to allow it to continue just the same way that they didn't want to have multiple batmans running around just stop it Right, just that stop. didn't stop him. <laughs> they still kept the multiple Batman. He just said we weren't going to have four Batman, so they yeah, still... we'll just have three. Whatever, <laughs> but you know, just stop it. Pull the plug. It's over. All just right. end it. All right. Um. Yeah, and yeah. Anyway, that that's all I had to say about this, Mr. James Gunn. I don't know where Peter Saffron is hiding. He's hiding somewhere while he's James. Handling does. business behind closed doors. I that's know, what he was hired for. He Peter Saffron was never hired to be the voice. No, I think he's just the signing face. the check, right? That's so it. When that, these, when he these takes care actors, of the back end deals. Yeah, hey, Rock, how much fired. you gotta get paid? All right, cool. All right, yeah. how much do we need for this budget? All right, NBA. cool. Don't say nothing bad about Warner Brothers. Go out there, do one social media post. Here's your two ten million dollars, whatever. That. Yeah. Thank He's you. A silent partner. Right, Henry Cavill. Here you go. Here's your check. You know, don't say nothing bad. That's it. I mean, Gun, <laughs> Gun is the one that is like volunteering himself to be as transparent as he is and commenting on everything. Now, 
You're don't fine. get me wrong. As as people in our <laughs> position, I love it. You know what I'm saying? Because like this is yeah. this is equivalent to talk show hosts having Trump as president. Yes. Like yeah, no matter you. what, with a finger, with every a finger day, finger. every day, this man is gonna give you ammo, good or bad. Every oh, day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't wake up and immediately check his Twitter to see what the fuck he's doing. I don't even have to check his Twitter because I know somebody's going to report on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, every talk show host on primetime television was feasting on the fact that Trump said something. So to me, I, you know, as a content creator, I'm sitting here like, yo, I just turned on my alerts for James <sighs> Gunn's post. Because I know at this point, when this man says something, it's going to travel. Could you imagine? I mean, this is why Kevin Feige doesn't talk. Kevin Feige hasn't posted something on his Twitter since uh, Chadwick Look, Boseman passed away. I, I, I think Warner Brothers knew what they was getting into. They knew this man had active Twitter fingers. He would sure. be actively engaging. I hate... I just don't like the way he tweets. He he does that troll way of tweeting. Yeah, like, I'm gonna just say like, something he's, without he's a non. Specific. No, it's basically I'm gonna say something without saying nothing, but I just want to make an appearance for attention, right? It's like, <laughs> like I just want some attention. Well, I don't know where you're getting this news, but it's working. <laughs> it's working. He's got us here talking about it. Sure, it's working. I also follow a lot of Elon's tweets, but it's also like that car crash, like you mentioned. I wanted, yeah. I can't I turn away. I want to see the car. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um. Anyway, James Gunn and Saffron. Anyway, that that that's all I had about DC, mm-hmm. you, and 